Um, we have an email from John Crisp in Dallas. John says, hey, Robbie, just, just to let you know, I upgraded to Intrepid Ibex 8.10. OK, it went well. Cool. That's Ubuntu, the latest version, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Yeah. Um, still no wireless on my laptop. HP Prezero. 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 Use such fancy words. All right. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> it connects and says so, but no surfing. Seems the DB meter registers no signal strength, whatever that means. Most annoying. Keeps me on Windows or wired. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. using WCID as a network manager. I, I read that it's better than GNOME offered, but I'm not impressed. So John's question is, how do I prevent all the software updates? Hmm. I go into software choices and deselect and keep only security updates. That's what I'm interested in, not all the printing email and other stuff I'll never use. That's from John That Dallas. question totally didn't go where I was expecting it to go. No? No, we were talking about wireless, and I'm about to get ready to start talking about Endos Wrapper and all that stuff, and then all of a sudden, how do I disable software updates? <laughs> is that totally unrelated? <laughs> so, no, John, that's absolutely fine. So, you know what? What we need to realize is that uh, each of those software updates that your computer's getting on Ubuntu are, are pretty much critical, right? So, I mean, you can go through that checklist and de-check stuff, but you mentioned CUPS, which is your printer, uh, like the, the ability to print to uh, Linux printers and, and Windows printers and things like that. We want to just let those things install. As long, you know, like if this is a thing like you've got dial-up or something that's taking way, way, way too long, then, then whatever. If your computer works, then just leave it. But uh, if this is an issue of you just, you know, wondering why you have to install all the updates, I would say just let the updates happen uh, because those are going to give you the latest security fixes, the latest features, and sometimes you've got dependency issues. So you've got uh, like an application that you think, hey, maybe I don't need this application to be updated, but it will in turn affect another application on Linux because in Linux, Things are kind of tied hand in hand, so uh, certain applications, if they're not updated, will actually cause other programs to be crippled in their feature set. So we want to try to avoid that by actually allowing all of those updates to proceed. So that's what I would recommend anyways. 